All right, thank you so much to Azui with that final weather update and welcome back to Oliven Hayes Museum here in Bloemfontein. Let's just have that conversation that I promised you about the sculptures here behind me. So you'll see the sculptures, but let me just talk to the men behind them. This is someone who's very well known, um, not just here at home, but internationally. Ndato Robert, good morning. Wapil. Good morning. Eh, Ndato Robert, ako ko shalu sa tseheka, the sculptures in Atahau, Ditle <laughs> United Nations Bolan sikili ri lowo ro go be mehlo wo e fa pafapana go jwalo ka ba pedi na ke le mo pedi mo South Africa re na le basutu re na le mazulu re na le gape mabenda le machangana ka kwa ile go bagala ne ba ka ka mothuko tsa dimbopo ka endana gape re na le magua le bona ba gona jwalo ka le mo ga gore ka botse botse ntho ba United Nation Alright, and that Robert De basically saying that he is now focusing on um, preaching about unity within all races that are represented here in South Africa. So, Kaufel and Totana, they talk to the United Nations as he says that unity is power. Let's let's just bring Bratoni Horoche here. He's the president of the Cultural and Creative Industries Federation of South Africa. Good morning, always good to have you on Morning Live. Uh, good morning, thank you very much. Yes. I know that Pere, we probably not much about this <laughs> National Art Bank, but talk to us about the role of CCIFSA um, on this? Well, um, the role of CIFSA is just to make sure that, you know, in more than anything else, we unleash the potential, uh, economic potential of the creative and cultural industries. And wherever there are stumbling blocks, you know, we make sure that we break those and we bring about growth within the creative and cultural industries. And make sure also that good practices take place within the creative and cultural industries. And there are challenges. How na market? Omu omu galomu direksanteng udula ko paking high and then utata mo chwale mo ng kamagana ko itele la torek hotata ka i horekis. Eh hotata ko re kaya kung kilebele chaka po si ko na lechi ubat tuwa do ko na ko na lo ko re na ko ko no ko dira marakis kika ko na ko ko rekis ko 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 marketa dulo chiki di dira fela kilebmo lo ko kan kilo ko ko pan ri dira nchiti. Nangas Kakavaka Zogu to Jeppe, Kakalabaka Lu, one of whom Kilifa, Kunalaba Toki Logar, no Katapucha or Kasanjur Kukop and Lobat. Kirilak is a pillar Kerak Fisaka Pituriaka, which are Babango, Baba Twelo or Bahonago, Kokamaketa, Lutarina, Kukopanle, Mestal Koto, Koka, Argmatin Koto, Kamu Pituriagam, and Dani and Avangelator or Sanjuru did a soldier, the Soro Rot or Honokop and Lobat. A Kavagira saw. Ambojore, a Kitova Luen Majatia, Kimgar de Tegovan or and Cascopa and Leva Banguana or Retel Honitor, Richam Fumara P. Jualegre, Quetamolore, a Ocopa and Leva Bamba, Baba Tova, Jualgaric, Sigil, Witigar Copa and Gemat, Ogasco, or Dira Silun, which is Alasa Fella Mu, Racopa and Alevona, Jualu Utter Valer Vatoga, Kinna. Kim Mestal Kotogo and then Ki Kim Emuva Tova Shi, who are not Honosibunol, 
who know it hard that's Elena Gaufel. And Dr. Robert basically saying that it, it's not an easy road for them as sculptors and artists in this industry. So he was basically explaining to us the processes that he had to go through. He had to go to Pretoria from Limpopo, meet you know certain people. And again, Anna Bratoni, that's that's where your um, federation comes into picture, exposure, and of course. Uh, trying to help them in terms of um, finances? Yeah, that's true. And uh, more than anything else, and more especially with the establishment of uh, an arts bank like this one, where people like Ntadoro um, Nomo uh, with our artists but uh, to put their things into the bank and making sure that our government lease these kind of sculptures to embassies, uh, to hotels. I mean, if you look into any hotel that you can be to, if you walk in, all you see around there is either you see a sculpture or you see paintings on the wall. If you go inside that room, there's a painting on the wall. So if government can strike a deal with the private sector in these hotels to say, how about if we take some of these arts from the arts bank and put them in our hotels for whatever certain period of time. And in, in that time, as you're listing them, there's a certain amount that you pay. And that's how um, our artists can make can make money and more than anything else we're still struggling with issues of transformation you know um, our artists they do make this kind of work but there's no spaces for them but if you look into issues like um, where our artists what our artists are doing like he's saying that he's talking about unity his sculptures and concepts are driven by the idea of unity we have to do that and put it into practice within the creative and cultural spaces as well and try to bring about unity and make sure that people can understand that when artists share thoughts and concepts, they can actually build the economy of the country. And if government becomes a player, for instance, like what they're doing here, that can also advance that whole thing of saying, you know, artists can actually make money beyond just making sculptures and looking, going to corners and putting their art at corners. But do you work with government, Bratoni, in terms of bringing back Art Eco overseas to bring it back home in South Africa? Well, um, the government, they have their own mandate and we also have our own mandate. Sometimes we understand each other, sometimes we don't understand each other. <laughs> yes, but um, we try very hard to make sure that we work with our government because it's our government, we elected it. So to make sure that you know, things like those, they come back home. Yeah. Right, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much. Rale Wanda, Robert, all the best. Tobela. Tobela. Well, we're taking a quick ad break here on Morning Live. One more item and then we're out of here. Stay tuned.